Welcome back. My next guest tonight has been making me laugh for over 20 years. You know him as the man behind Triumph, the insult comic dog. I know him as my friend, Robert Smigel. <laughs> Robert, good to see you. Good now, to see you. I've been on shows with you terrifying. before. Why? Why? I'm used to being... I've been on your show before, like yeah. back here. Right. Hiding behind this... Everybody, the world wild. knows and loves you as the, the genius behind <laughs> Triumph, the insult comic dog. I know. He's much cuter than me. Sorry, guys. What, uh, uh, is, what is it about... Yeah, sure, why not? That's some tea. Is that... You uh, want yeah, tea? Yeah, I've had a... That's yeah. tea? Oh, I understand. Yeah, well... It's the puppeteer's curse, they call it. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what is it about having triumph that makes uh, the job easier for you? Uh, as opposed to going up to Ted Cruz myself? <laughs> yeah, well, you, Kyle, for the people who don't know, you had a, you had a great uh, uh, election oh. special oh, God. Uh, and series. Yes, I you covered you the got your own bus. What is this? Well, Ted Cruz wouldn't come near me, you know, with or without the puppet. Yeah. I think I got thrown out of CPAC faster than any event I've ever done. Wow. And at one point, we actually hired actors because we wanted to get to Ted Cruz and poop on him. Sure. We, we, we literally... It's a great compliment. It's a great compliment to be, to be pooped upon. It's a co and many people play along, but not Ted. <laughs> we actually dressed up actors to play veterans. So and, he would come close? Yeah, to CPAC. And they went right up to him. And they're like, Ted, Mr. Cruz, I, I, I love you. I love you. have such a great sense. This was during the is he's from Canada crisis. Sure, remember? sure, yeah. You know, when people thought, oh, is he Canadian? And, and, and a veteran goes up to him and says, Mr. Cruz, I'm a big fan. I love your sense of humor, the way you imitate characters on The Simpsons. And I also love your imitation of an American. <laughs> yeah. And Ted yeah. Cruz had this smile on his face like... God bless you. What is, what's happening together. here before I show it to the people? Oh, that was beautiful. So Ted Cruz was... So he would ride in this bus through New Hampshire to do this folksy tour. With, everywhere he went, everywhere. your bus was behind his bus. Well, first, first I just showed up. I just wanted to show up at every event. So I followed him. You know, because he had this folksy tour where he's in the Cruisinator, his... I don't know, the cruise missile. I don't know what yep. he called his bus. <laughs> So he's, uh, you know, and he's giving these folksy speeches at these little knick-knack stores, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of ironic because every speech, like every syllable was exactly, it might as well have been an animatron. Sure. You know, from the hall of you're never going to be presidents. Yes. But, <laughs> but anyway, so he goes there. So, so you know, here's Triumph. He, he catches Triumph. <laughs> this is the first what I love time. about this is, this is him catching Triumph's eye. Yes. Yes, it's a beautiful moment. It's the first time. That was so beautiful. And he's doing his, you know, perfect syllable-by-syllable -syllable speech, and there's just a tiny little hesitation. And then he goes right back into it. And I didn't want to be the type of comedian who just, like, interrupts the speech or anything. Sure, sure. So I would just chime in like, you know, he'd make a bad joke, and I'd be like, good one, Ted! <laughs> Now you've directed a movie with Adam Sandler and Chris Rock called The Week Of on yes, Netflix. thank you. What is The Week Of? The Week Of, it's uh, Adam Sandler uh, and Chris Rock play the father of the bride and the father of the groom, and Adam is a hard-working, loving, middle-class dad who insists on paying for his daughter's wedding. Regardless of how many corners he has to cut, he's got too much pride to let the wealthy father of the groom, Chris, Chris Rock, Rock, pay for the wedding. And um, he suffers through the movie, and it makes everybody else suffer at the same time. Well, we've got a clip right here. Can but you not tell me the what's audience. going on? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's a treat. It's a what, treat. What, what is this clip? This clip is Adam, uh, well, Chris is trying to call the Plaza Hotel because uh, a series of events has rendered uh, Adam's uh, ballroom in uh, a cheap quality lodge. Uh, a disaster, and Chris is trying to sneak a call to the plaza and get and book that for the wedding. Jim? 
what's up, what's up with the bowler? Oh, I thought we talked about this, pal. You don't you don't got to do what you're doing. I I, I can oh, handle it. Don't pal. book anything. Listen it's, to me. It's, it's, think of it as you got to trust it to go well too. Got to trust me. Hang I mean, the phone up. I'm telling you the truth. It's just a backup. I, I, I can handle okay. it. Wash I can hands. handle Wash it. the hands. No, I don't want to hurt the hands. Let go of it. Let go. Hello, Dr. Cornish. I got the plaza. No, that that's all good. We can we can cancel that. Okay. Uh, thanks for all your help. Oh. Sorry, pal. Had to. I don't sound like that. I you do a little. Adam. Adam's amazing in this movie. Robert. The week of now streaming on Netflix. Robert Smigel, everybody. We'll be right back.